I want to wish you a happy Passover and a blessing to those honoring this holy week leading up to Easter. Um, I uh, rise as the ranking member of the Planning and Development Committee and was very proud to work in a bipartisan and collaborative manner uh, on this amended bill, uh, which can be a little confusing because it's LCO 6080 rather than the underlying bill. And it was intended to support and enable our restaurants, as the good vice chairman said. Um, I, I wanted to kind of reemphasize because it, it obviously uh, sustains the governor's executive order 7MM, but also allows our new businesses that are applying to have an expedited no fee application process. Um, and I think the, 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 the delicate balance that we had was during this COVID crisis to be able to allow the local input while supporting and enabling our, our struggling businesses, especially in the restaurant businesses. Through you, Madam Chair, could I ask the good Vice Chair the concept of balancing this kind of an extension of, of um, permitting of outdoor food and beverage uh, services, where does that kind of balance with the local municipal input? Through you, Madam Chair. Madam President. Thank you, Senator. Senator Nadelman. Through you, Madam President, I believe that this bill does address those issues. Um, it allows for local zoning or planning and zoning and local uh, CEOs to work on an expedited process to get people approved so that they can do this. But um, there is a local control part. And further to that, um, on state highways or adjacent state highways, there are some DOT provisions for expedited control also. Senator Wong. Thank you. And, and I want to be on the record in, in acknowledging that it was um, a, a collaborative effort to recognize that during this crisis, there is an extension of efforts to support and enable our restaurants uh, to sustain outdoor eating. And I believe this will sunset uh, on March 31st, 2022. Would that be correct? Through you, Madam President. Senator Needleman. Yeah, through you, Madam President. I, I absolutely, I think I mentioned that it sunsets on um, March 31st, 2022, but I do, um, support the idea that we worked um, collaboratively with all members. I believe this passed out of the House in a unanimous fashion. Um, there were amendments um, of revisions, JFS language being done right up to the last minute, so that we took all of those issues into account. And I believe that we have come up with a very good bill that um, takes an industry, and this has been a lifeline to that industry, that um, has supported it and helped them, and this will continue to do that through the end of the pandemic or into the first part of next year. Thank you, Senator Wong. Thank you, Madam President. And, and presumably, as is a case with Executive Order 7MM, this bill doesn't permit an applicant to request approval to conduct outdoor activities unless the applicant is already allowed to provide food and beverage services as applicable. And that's important because obviously, you want to be supportive of existing uh, restaurants and, and those that have gone through the proper permitting processes and not allowing kind of uh, quickly pop up strong and, and unregulated food applicants uh, or food industry um, organizations without regulation. So this bill does give consideration to protecting the consumer aspect of, of unregulated food permitting organizations. Would that be correct through you, Madam President? Senator Needleman. Uh, through you, Madam President, it is, and further, it does not allow for alcohol sales without food outdoors either. So there has to be some food component. Senator Wong. Thank you, Madam President. And, and I also want to point out, and, and just a, a, a validation, that uh, what this bill does not allow is that it would prohibit an individual from submitting, from submitting a complaint to a municipal authority as it relates to curtailing a rights, a municipal right to enforce conditions and requirements of outdoor activities. So what it means is it would not prohibit local municipalities to issue fines and violation notices and cease and desist orders for applicants and restaurateurs that do not comply with municipal safety standards and food regulations. Through you, just a validation that this bill does not give that free uh, protection and that it does give that affordance of 
consumer protection, and local input to cease and desist bad operators. Through you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator Wong. Senator Needleman. Through you, Madam President. That is correct. Senator Wong. Thank you. As you can see, it was an exhaustive effort and a truly bipartisan effort. And, and I'd like to give a big thank to the contributions of many who made this bill possible. I want to recognize Scott Dolich of the Connecticut Restaurant Association, Governor Lamont and his staff, as well as DECD Commissioner David Lehman, uh, of course, Senator Cassano, the chair, and Senator Needleman as the vice chair uh, in the Senate. And I want to recognize Senator Champagne through his experience as the uh, first selectman of Vernon offer some perspective of the balancing between this legislative effort from the state to support our restaurants, balanced with input from local municipal officials that have been such a big advocate in this arena. And I also want to recognize our House colleagues, uh, Representative McCarthy Vahey, the, the co-chair of the committee, for her relentless and tireless work, as well as Representative Joe Zullo, uh, the ranking member, and the vice chair, Christine Goupil, and ultimately, it is a huge thanks to all of our local municipal leaders who have made this effort possible in their input and collaboration, but also for many of our community members that have supported our restaurants during these difficult times. This is one where I hope that we will be uh, bipartisan and united in recognizing that our restaurants are such an integral part of our small business and community fabric. So I urge support, but I want to acknowledge and thank again, uh, especially to Senator Cassano and Senator Needleman for their tireless efforts and contributions to this. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Senator, will you remark 